What's up guys and gals and welcome to VB Vibes where I love talking all things NFTs, speculation, and of course the market. So today was a super, super interesting day. I don't want to get too much into it. Um, I might do my own video talking about the AMA VB most recently did, but honestly, I think every other content creator and their mother is going to be talking about it. Um, I mostly today want to focus on the drops that are going to be happening on Wednesday, both the Marvel Mighties, as well as the Pride drops that are going to be happening Wednesday at 8 a.m. and noon, respectively, for the Pacific. Um, we'll like, I guess I'll talk about it extremely quickly. There is a link on the VV uh, Twitter that has the whole recording. I highly suggest you guys listen to it. Um, I missed like the full first half of it because I was busy with other things, but I did like listen to the last like 30 minutes to like an hour. They said a lot of really bullish information. Like we're all going to hopefully have cash out by the middle of July. Um, the app did kind of switch to be more of like an 18 and older thing for KYC purposes. Um, Amazing Fantasy is pretty much all but announced by Dave Video. Someone asked Dave Video a question about F Amazing Fantasy 15. He was just kind of like just stumbling over his words for about 10, 10 seconds straight, which was just kind of funny. Um, for the most part. Also, Vivi is going to be right there in San Diego Comic-Con, pretty much presenting all the Vivi stuff right in the middle of the Marvel booth at the San Diego Comic-Con. And this is like the first convention they've had uh, in a very long time. And it's very, very bullish information. So I can't think of a better way that we're going to have something like Amazing Fantasy 15 or some other series of huge comics coming out during that time to really get these comic book collectors uh, attention and get them on Vivi pretty much as soon as possible. Um, Gosh, there was so much other bullish information. There was other, there was also another thing that VV talked about, I should say, uh, uh, David talked about, David Yu, and he said something along the lines of that basically there's going to be, there's going to come a point where the only way to add gems on the app is if you reserve an item either on drop or on the market. So no more are people going to be able to add gems outside of those scenarios where you can just add 500 gems, 1,000, 2,000, 10,000, or whatever. Um, I think this has to do something to do with like a mon money laundering standpoint or the fact that there was an issue before where people were able to um, basically generate or make a lot of gems outside of that aspect and basically have a lot of gems that just weren't tied to the actual like US dollar or to like actually any kind of monetary value. So this might cut back on that or if something like that does happen. It only affects a handful of NFTs rather than a huge, huge portion or millions of gems worth of uh, the market. So uh, tons of pulls information on here. Like there was like seven or eight big things that Vivi was talking about and that was basically announced here. But I think is extremely bullish. But um, before we kind of go further with that, again, I might make my own video, but I think pretty much every content creator and their mother is going to make a video on that uh, for the most part. So uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the first drop, which is actually going to be happening tomorrow at 8 a.m., which is the Marvel Mighties. And honestly, I think these are the best looking Marvel Mighties. I know I talked about that in my last video. Um, I think these look amazing. The, the armor, uh, the weapons, the faces, like the whole detail, like everything just looks really, really good on these and really slick. So um, here we have Thor at uh, 13 gems, 8,000 additions. Um, it's going to be a bit weird with these Marvel Mighties because we are going to have the pride drop shortly after. So I do think there's going to be some people maybe withholding some gems to buy these in the secondary until after the pride drop. And maybe once they secure their position on the pride uh, NFTs, they might double back and grab some of these Marvel Mighties in the secondary. So these might initially look really low, but like wait till after the pride drop or people might again come back and buy these in the secondary market. So Again, we have Thor at 13 gems at 8,000 additions. We have Loki, and I don't know why this face just seemed like really funny to me. Uh, I think my friend took a screenshot of it or like took a, a picture of his face and just sent it to me and it just looked really funny, like zoomed up. Um, again, 13 gems, 8,000 additions. So this is blind box format. Uh, these mint numbers, I think are quite a bit lower than what we typically get for Marvel Mighties. Uh, same thing here, uncommon. So these are 6,000 additions and these are FA. So the Loki's FA, uh, Valkyrie's FA, uh, Thor is not because obviously we already have him um, in the collectible format. We also have uh, Jane Foster here at 4,000 editions, so we're getting lower. Dude, Odin I think is the best looking one. Just aesthetically, just the armor, the detail, like the badass looking weapon. His cape is like flowing behind him. He's clearly like dropping or like falling, doing some sort of like uh, superhero dive or something like that. Looks really cool. Only 2,500 editions on this. So that's actually not that much more than like Spider-Man 2099. I also know that Deadpool Duck, which is, I know the secret rare, that one only has 2,000 editions. But when we get down here, whew, Beta Ray Bill. I, I've learned to really like this character over the last like year or so since I've seen the comic and I kind of watched a lot of videos on him and stuff. Um, I really like this character. And so this only has 1,500 editions. This is less than Deadpool Duck, less than Spider-Man 2099, obviously. So, so far, this is the rarest uh, Marvel Mighty that we're going to have on the platform. And he's pretty much all but I think going to make an appearance in the new uh, Love and Thunder movie that uh, Thor is going to be coming out with in the first week of July. First or like second week of July. I forgot which week it is technically. But yeah, 
if I had to throw price predictions for these, these are going to be really tough because again, we just got announced MTLs basically is going to be rolled out for everyone mid July. So I do think there's a little bit of a pullback on the market right now. People are trying to hit that 1000 gem threshold. So I think people are just people weren't sure if it was going to happen in uh, you know, June, July, August, September, you know, October, nobody really knew when actual MTO is going to be like fully rolled out. So it's, it's super bullish that we're actually having it. But in the short term, we could see a small pullback with some NFTs where people are going to be less likely to buy these in the secondary market and just hope to get, you know, the ultra rare, the secret rare, whatever it is. So again, if I had to put prices to these, I really think this Thor is probably going to go for about nine gems nine maybe ten gems in the secondary market uh you know an hour or so after the these drop or maybe once more all of them are delivered i do think loki could probably hit 20. i think he could probably hit uh, a little over 20 ish probably somewhere around 20 because he is the fa people are going to want to match this with their comic he's made a ton of appearances in the avengers movies as well as thor movies as well as he has his own show he's going to have another season of the show like there's going to be so much more loki to come so i do think this one will probably land in or between like I would say 20 to 25. I know it's a bit on the high end, but I think this will probably hit anywhere between 20 to 25. Uh, again, I haven't seen any of the newer Thor movies, so Dark Dark Planet as well as Ragnarok. I know this character makes an appearance, but as usual, I think she's just surrounded by too many other significant FAs to like really make a huge impact. So I think this one might also go for around, it's gonna surround box price. So I'm just gonna kind of wing it and just say anywhere between uh, 12 to 15. So maybe a little bit below box or maybe a tiny bit above just because the lowest editions. But if I had to guess, probably a little bit under. Here is the rare for, so Jane Foster. Again, she's gonna be in the newer movie. I'm not sure if her first appearance is in the new movie or if she's appeared in the previous one. I think she's just in the new one uh, from what I've seen. I think this one could actually go a little bit above box because it, the, the rarity is so low. And if people do wanna complete the set, there's, there's a pretty limited amount. So on this one, if I had to say a number, I would probably say 25 on this as well. 20, probably 25 if I had to give it a number. Now, Odin, oof, this one's big. This is easily the most aesthetically, uh, the best looking one. And the rarity is pretty darn close to what the, the other secret rare Marvel Mighties have gotten um, when it comes to mint size and stuff. So for this one, I think I think this one's going for, for probably 80 to 100. If I had to put a number, 80 to 100. And the secret rare beta ray bill, I think this one's going for... 150 to 200 maybe a tiny bit higher who knows but again i'm just throwing throwing numbers out there i, I probably could have done a bit more research on what the previous marvel mighties have had what spider-man 29 currently priced at but again all those nfts came in at different points in the market where people already bought them at super high prices and they're just holding on to them so people aren't willing to sell some of these nfts for like literally a 90 percent discount so i do think everything is a bit skewed and i do think people are going to hold back a little bit just because we are going to be having the pride drops dropping about four hours after the marvel mighty so to jump into this um, this is not a blind box format these are all individually kind of like a lot of in the independent artists you'll have to pick one of these three collectibles to pick from so the list price of this is 50 gems 1978 uh, editions and that's pretty much the same all throughout 1978 editions and this one also has 1989 editions so um I'm sure someone knows down in the comments. I didn't, like I said, I missed a good portion of the pride, like AMA portion of the, uh, for Vivi and stuff. So they could give explanations why the mint numbers are the way they are and what the, what's the significance behind them. I do know these pride drops tend to sell pretty well. So I will be going for them on the secondary market. Kind of depends on how many gems I have left over after the, uh, the Marvel Mighty set drop. So I, I honestly, I genuinely can't get price predictions on these. Like, I just don't know what the, I heard there's possible utility tied to them. Um, not entirely sure what's and in, what's involved with that. Uh, not entirely sure. But again, if I just had to throw extremely random numbers out there, I would say these these will probably go for probably 70, 75. And this one will probably go for something like the same, maybe a bit cheaper because some people might like the uh, kind of like the pride flag looking one over the heart. And I do think that because this is 100 gems, this does seem to be kind of like the... the uh, the centerpiece of, of the, the whole kind of thing. 150, 200, it's really hard to tell because I do think the market has been shaken up so much with the most recent announcements. There's a lot of bullish information that is awesome, but that bullish information has kind of caused some uh, short-term sell-offs for people to basically start preparing for things like uh, possible Amazing Fantasy coming up, MTL coming up, where people need a thousand gem minimum in order to cash out. Uh, also potentially the fact, like David, you said, 
you're no longer going to be able to just randomly put in gems in the app. You're only going to be able to put in enough gems for the drop. So if you have any excess gems, that's awesome. You can actually be able to um, quick buy, or I should say, uh, quick gate, like multiple drops. But if you have no gems on your account, you won't be able to quick gate because you have to go, I want to buy this. Yes, low gems. Gems are loaded. Buy this. And by that time, the drop is already sold out. So that, I do think we're going to see a short term sell off just because of those announcements, not just not just because it's like bearish information or anything like that. It's just short term. People are trying to uh, position themselves in a way where they can get bigger benefits or bigger gains in the future for the most part. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Are you guys excited for the Marvel Mighties drop? Are you guys going for all of them? What about the pride drop? Uh, I might do my own video talking about the AMA a bit more in depth, but uh, yeah, tons of awesome information in there. I highly suggest you guys check out Rob's stuff. He did a video on it. Uh, I know Dino did a live stream kind of talking about the AMA as well, and I'm sure lots of other content creators will as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys take care. Please double and triple check all of your listings so you don't screw yourself over, and I'll catch you guys next time.